oh, this is going to be good. Time. Timer flash seven times. BT system. You ain't testing. You're guessing. He said that he, that he tried to call you guys to cancel it, that they did what they needed to. Okay. All right, sorry. No one called. That. All right, I apologize. W what companies he work for? Keith, what's the company? Yes, what company you work for? Okay. All right. Sorry keep, about that. <laughs> keep that in mind. Future reference. All right. Sorry. <laughs> no problem. Well, that was a complete waste of time. I don't really get met many of those kind of, oh, we tried to call or, oh, um, oh, I meant to call you to cancel. Don't get many of those, but we don't forget either. We make a note on the account. The next time they call, you know, it's going to have to be a prepaid service call. You know, not refundable. All right, going to my last service call of the day. It is 2.15 in the afternoon. Today is Thursday, June 10th. Last service call, central air conditioning, not cooling. I will try to get some footage and see what's going on. In the meantime, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that thumbs up button and consider subscribing to support the channel. And it helps motivate me to create more. I try to create amazing content that we all can learn from. You know, if I'm doing something wrong or something that needs some improvements, I want the feedback. And if you think I did a great job, you know, an attaboy is nice too. I like hearing those. Ah, oh, you did a good job, Mikey Pipes. Thank you. All right, stay tuned. Let me stop talking. Hi. Uh, air conditioning. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, what's wrong? You want to go through the, um, where do you want to start? From the outside or from the I'll inside? I'll tell you what's wrong. So the AC is not working. Um, we, we what is it doing? Right. right. So we, um, there's a really heavy, like burning and circuitry uh, smell inside, like okay. plasticky. Okay. I looked around the boiler room, I didn't see any smoke. Okay. I turned everything off. Um, I went to the back to the condenser. Okay. I saw that the the, uh, the pipe leading to the uh, unit was starting to melt. I touched the pipe and it was hot. So you show me that. Yeah. So something out there. Hey. Um. But you had a smell inside the house, though. Yeah. Yeah. So, so it must have been going through the unit. I don't know. I don't know how that works. Um. Uh, the fan still working? The blower? I turned everything off. Okay. So probably gonna have to go to the blower. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we'll, I'd like to we'll, see what you're talking about, though. Yeah, absolutely. So, basically, it's, it seems like there's a short in the condenser. And a little, the little that I know about this pipe. A short in the condenser and caused the, the whole pipe to heat up the uh, electric. Okay. So, condenser, you'll see here that it's melted. You see the coating is, is, is melted. Wow. Yeah. And so... Wow, that's impressive. Uh, scary. And, yeah. And this whole thing was hot. This was hot. I flipped this off. Good. Um, Otherwise, we probably would have set the house on fire. Um, it, ma it makes me question why the breaker, the circuit breaker, didn't trip. Me too. That's, have you had an electrician come out? And, no, not yet. No? Not yet. Okay. No, no, I, I, I got you out first. <laughs> I mean, I got somebody. I, you, you, I called a bunch of people. Everybody's busy. Okay. Interesting. Now, but when... This is not a breaker right here. This is a, a, uh, a lever disconnect, right. so... I do have a breaker in the garage. Yes. We're going to take a trip. Interesting. Now, when you came out here, mm -hmm. I know you smelt it inside, and it's also cantilevered here, so it's possible maybe some no. of the... There was no smoke here. But that was melted. Correct. Oh, well, okay, I should correct myself. There was a little bit of smell here, but it wasn't what I expected to see. Interesting. Was the unit running? Not when I came out here. No. When you came out here, was the thermostat still on? Yes. And did you hear the fan inside blowing? I can't, I can't remember. Okay. I don't Let's remember. go to your thermostat. Okay. Well, the thermostat I have here, but everything's off inside, so okay. it's not going to Let's go to the thermostat first. Okay. 
off. What do you mean by everything is off? Uh, well, I, I turned off everything I could. So I turned that, that, that off. That okay. Breaker. I turned off the breaker at, at the panel. Okay. Um, and there's two switches by the... Uh, the Let's see what you turned off. Yeah, the break is here. So AC is off. It's a 50 amp unit. All right. What else did you turn off? That's oh, it? Off there, yeah. that, that's a condenser. I know that for sure. All right. Now it's on. What else did you turn off? This, this switch. And this okay. Guy. All right. So why is that cover off? I turned, I took it off. Okay. Because I'm gonna see. Is the dog gonna run away? Hold on. No, he's not gonna run away. No, no, just... Hi, doggy. Oh, are you a, like a mini poodle? He's a mini poodle, yeah. Wow, you're gorgeous. Thank you. Trade XR80. Uh, it, the 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 uh, the, uh, the the trip is is. Uh, uh, in other words, I can take the the door off without with the thing still. Yeah, because it's. The, the uh, door switch is gone. But it says it's offline. Let me see why. Well, it's probably because you had it off. Now it's on. You have a nest? Yeah. It's going to take a, a few seconds to oh, boot up. Okay. Cool. Oh, you have a Lancaster. It's a very good uh, whole house water filter. Is I have the same exact one, yeah. Okay. I, I same exact one. Okay, good. Has, was it here when you bought the house? Or no, I put it you in. put it in? Very nice. I had, I had a problem. I put it in. How long was it off for? No, no, it's completely off. Like uh, the thermostat, the, the, the thermostat the is blank. Yeah, I'm starting to wonder if. Oh, I, I also tripped this this one too, just in case. Is there a the fuse thing there? behind you? I do not see a fuse. A thing behind me. No, uh, right here. I don't know what this is connected to, to be honest with you. I don't know what's connected to either. Right. You turned it off. I'm just curious, did this actually turn off power to the switch? So your nest should be booting up now. It's still black? Really? Yeah. Uh, I hear you. Time for tools. So you said when I was at the door that you smelled like a burning plasticky type of smell. Uh, it's hard to describe. It wasn't like a, it wasn't, exactly an electrical smell it was kind of faint and then uh, the family said oh we smell fire what is that or, we smell something what is that right. well i'm gonna see if our transformer still works okay. and uh, all right let's see what we have between r and c which is right there i have 27 volts all right, now, if I jump out R and G, let's see if this fan motor comes on. It does. So your Nest thermostat should be on, but it's probably discharged because it has been receiving power for a while. Because that's, that's forcing your fan on. Let me go, let me go to the unit, see, see if I can see anything there. Yeah, see. Because I got 24 volts, actually 28 volts between R and C. Let me show you. I'm laying down on the job. It's me. So between R and C, I have 28 volts. Technically, it's 24 volts, but it's 28 volts. If I bypass with my Weeha needle nose, R and G, the fan comes on. If I were to take R and bring it to Y, the contactor and the condenser outside would close. All right, L1 and L3 is 240 volts. Disconnect is off. Non-fused, disconnect, general electric. Circuit 1960. Lennox, I don't know, it's hard to read that. R22, let's take a look. Contactor, start relay, dual capacitor. Let's see if we have any shorts to ground. 
All right, we're gonna check for shorts to ground between T1 and T2. Yep. Both are shorted. Now, let's take off the wire off the actual contactor. And then we'll check each one individually. This wire is going to my compressor, and I'm just gonna take it to screw, any screw. Okay. So that's short to ground. Now let's go to the other side. All right. Sorry, you guys can't see this, but I'll sh show it to you in a second. I'm taking the other screw, which is T1 or T2, off the contactor, all right? And here is my black wire and let's test that as well okay let me show you what I just did uh, try to feed you I know you're hungry all right so these two this wire was right there with the screw and the red wire was right there with a the screw before I actually unscrewed it I just took my probe from the screw that was right there to that screw right there, short to ground the compressor shot. What I really find most fascinating mm -hmm. is that there was so much current going through mm -hmm. this electrical whip, yeah. right, that it melted yeah. the wiring. And I'm really contemplating taking this apart to see it, but we know it's a moot, it's a moot cause, All right? It's a moot cause the... because the compressor itself is short to ground, but I'd like to see like you, you you should see bare metal, right? Because the actual insulation on the wire itself melted away, mm. creating so much heat, and that breaker not tripping you could have burnt down your house. That's what I'm saying. Serious, dead serious. You really could have burnt down your house. And I if I extinguisher yeah, with if me. I was if I was a, like more adventurous. I would be, I'd be really tempted to turn that on, but I am not taking the liability of burning nah. down your million dollar house. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not go there. Right? <laughs> but I want to take the cover off because I want to see the compressor. All right. Let's test those. Let's see if I can get you in on the action. All right. Get my meter in there. I'm going to do each wire to the copper. Now, I'm testing resistance. Okay. All right. Which one is this? Colin. All right. Thermostat doesn't have enough power for Wi Fi. That's why I got the message just now. So, okay. Yeah. Right. You, you already do. Yep. <laughs> that is pretty effing scary. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's how fucking fire started. You know, what if we weren't home? I, uh, the house probably would have burnt down. Seriously. Right. So I have, 
let me just disconnect these two. This is coming from your fern, uh, your furnace, which really shouldn't, it's really not supposed to be in the same box. But let's take a closer look at this. And let's pull out the wire a little bit. Maybe I could disconnect this. Yeah, I don't, I don't nah. think we're going to be able to pull uh, nah, we'll see. That's, that's, that's the money shot. Wow. Yeah. Look at it. It's, it's all melted off. Mm -hmm. Such extreme heat melted the plastic off of the uh, steel coating. Wow. Because of that 50 amp breaker failed to do its job. All right, let me go over some options that you have available. So option number one, and I'm going to start from this. <laughs> you can pull up a chair. <laughs> Um, and they're not in the order of recommendation. Recom number one recommendation is replace the entire system. You have that's all, that's an, the only recommendation. an older older furnace. I'm not saying replace the furnace because you're going to get something new and fresh. Hold but on, hold on. You're talking about the, the entire furnace, the heat and cool? Well, the furnace has the blower inside of it. Okay. I'm just calling a spade a spade. Sure. Go ahead. So, as a professional, the number one recommendation is replace everything. Everything match. You have a brand new warranty. Less headaches less future repairs, less things that can go wrong. I'm not saying the new stuff lasts as good as the old stuff did. This thing is probably from the 80s. You're not talking about um, the, the, uh, the, not the duct work. No, I'm talking about the duct work. I'm talking the... about the box that I was first working on where, you know, that gives the trans, you know, that gives the thermostat power and mm -hmm. all that other stuff. Where, you, where that switch was. That's hold your furnace. How much? Directly above, I don't know, it's hold, hold what kind of car you want to buy? <laughs> it's a loaded question, hold on. So above the furnace, you have an evaporator coil that works with the outdoor condenser. Mm -hmm. The outdoor condenser is, you know, that's how it exchanges heat from inside to outside. Mm -hmm. The inside evaporator coil takes the heat from the air, puts it in the refrigerant, brings it outside, and then it discharges outside. Mm -hmm. So you have a lot of different options, depends on what kind of car you want. Seriously, it really does. Uh, this uses R22. Mm -hmm. So the newer systems use R410A. Mm -hmm. So one option, if you really, really on a budget, mm -hmm. and as long as we don't have uh, compressor uh, burnout, we'd, we'd test the refrigerant to make sure there's no acid in the system. If that's, mm -hmm. that's the case, you really gotta get rid of everything. Okay. But if we test the refrigerant and it's good, and I'm, not, I'm not endorsing this, okay. but I can replace just, just a condenser. condenser yeah. They make an R407C condenser, mm -hmm. where the refrigeration properties and temperatures are similar to R22, and technically it'll work. Okay. Technically, but you'll have a one-year warranty from the manufacturer on the brand new outdoor unit. You'll spend a few thousand dollars on that. For, have not, a nice day. I, I think that's option a bad, number bad. option number two, yeah. in lieu of replacing everything, mm -hmm. is that we replace the evaporator coil, which is above your furnace, mm -hmm. and replace the outdoor unit. Mm -hmm. And again, the prices range very, uh, widely in price. However, because you have an eighty percent efficient furnace, it's not really energy efficient at all. It's like basically a budget you know it, it's it's a it's a honda right you know i'm not saying hondas are bad mm -hmm. but it's not a bentley or rolls royce or mercedes or g-way you know it's, it's i do want to move at some point but so, so how much is that just the the the, the coil I mean, all right so really no exaggeration that house could have burnt down if no one was home to smell the wiring being burnt um gave her a few options including a new 407c condenser um, obviously my first recommendation replace the, all the HVAC equipment including the furnace and have everything match um, that wasn't in the price price point so right now I'm trying to source out a new four ton um, condenser and a 24 inch four ton case evaporator coil and that is what he approved I'm also going to change the line set condensate pump and all that other good stuff, control wiring, disconnect, whip, and he needs to have an electrician come in and verify that the line from the circuit breaker to the disconnect panel is intact, and also to replace the 50 amp breaker because that should have tripped. All right. Um, hope you guys enjoyed watching this. You know, it's a little bit of a scary world out there, but if you see or smell something that's not working right it's always best to turn it off 
you know something's not working right you turn it off if your car is making a grinding sound as you're driving you pull over to the side of the road and you know you call AAA you call your tow truck whatever all right air conditioning is not working right turn it off okay you can never go wrong if you turn it off thanks so much for watching have a great day be well god bless stay safe